Hi guys, in this new video, I'm going to share to all of you on how to jailbreak your iOS device running from iOS 12 up to iOS 14.4.1 using Checkring Jailbreak, and we're starting right now. If this is your first time here and you want videos to maximize your tech experience, Please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe and bell icon so you won't miss anything of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's start! As of making this video, the devices supported an iOS 14 capable of this jailbreak are iPhone 6s up to iPhone 10. This also includes the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So if your device is iPhone 10s up to iPhone 12, the jailbreak method will not work on your device. Why? Because the developers of this method hasn't been able to patch the security measures set by the Apple on these newer devices. Just also a reminder, if you're using iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10, there's a catch after you've jailbroken your device. You will not be able to turn your passcode on and use your Touch ID because once you've set a passcode on your device, it will just reboot and the jailbreak will be removed on your device. So I've tried this many times on my device, which is the iPhone 8. And based on my experience, you will not be able to set a passcode once you've set a jailbreak. So if, however, if you're using an iPhone 6S or iPhone 7, this jailbreak method is fully pledged on your device, meaning you can set your passcode once you've finished the jailbreak. So Without further, without further ado, let's start the process. The first step you need to do is to download this program which is called Tree Tools on its website. All links will be in the description down below. Just press this download rectangular icon here and just wait until the program setup file is finished downloading. Once the setup file is downloaded, just open this and proceed to program installation. I will not do that anymore since I've already installed the program on my PC. Once you install the program, open it and select this flash and jailbreak section on the upper side and select this jailbreak on the left side and select this make check ring jailbreak USB flash drive and now in this part, all you need to do is to plug in your USB flash drive. It should now be detected by your PC and select start making. Hit yes and just wait until the file is downloaded to your flash drive. Just wait for a few more seconds. Once finished, all you need to do is to restart your PC and go to the boot menu or BIOS menu of your PC or laptop. If you don't know what key it is to go there, I will leave in the description box below on how to get there and on how on how and what keys are you going to need to press and in this part as you can see it is already selected here on what in which certain brand or which certain keys we're going to select for a certain brand so once you see that just restart your pc and if you're using dell just restart it If you're using Dell, press F12 and just wait a few more seconds. Now select this this second one, hit enter. Okay, it should now load the file and to enter check ring, just select this Alt F2 by pressing this keys on your keyboard. Now the check ring jailbreak should now be visible on your PC. Now connect your iPhone using your lightning connector to your USB connector to your PC and select trust. If you're using iPhone 8, just go to options and allow or select or hit enter these two types. Select this allow untested iOS version and allow or select skip A A11 BPR check. 
if you're not using iPhone 8, just don't select the skip A11 VPR check. Now once finished, select start or press enter. Hit OK, then hit next, and your iPhone should be should be now go into recovery mode. Just wait a few more seconds. Okay, once your iPhone is in DFU mode, another step will appear and just follow this on-screen guide on your screen. So if you're okay, if you're now ready, just press enter to start. To start, just press enter. Now just follow the on-screen instructions on your screen and digital brick should now be on the way or on the process into your device just wait a few more seconds if it does not work for the first time just hit the try this process is very easy and it's very easy to follow if it does not work for the first time, you can try it for the second time. Now it should now be in DFU mode again. And just, it will just proceed to this step again. Just be careful to follow these on-screen instructions on your screen because it is very substantial or essential to proceed in this part for you to be able to jailbreak your device. Okay. Just wait a few more seconds and it's now booting once you see this on your boot screen the drill blade should is now successful just wait a few more seconds hit done and just for you to be able to restart your PC, just select Control at Delete. Now on your device, just wait until the check screen icon appear on your home screen. Just make sure to be connected on Wi-Fi. Just open check screen and select Cydia. If this is your first time you're breaking your device, just select Install Cydia. If this is your Second time to reinstall the jailbreak, just select this reinstall Cydia or just proceed without not installing the Cydia anymore. So once you install Cydia, it should be now be visible on your home screen. There you go. The jailbreak is now successful. If you have questions or questions in this video, you can message me here on my YouTube channel or message me on my social media accounts. And for video suggestions, you can comment it here or you can also message me on my social media accounts again. This is me again, JC. Thank you and see you in my next video.